a friend of mine has a patent on this idea of a centralized notification engine that can do pub sub sort of uh, event signaling. And I was thinking about that, couldn't sleep, and I thought I'd like to pay a little tribute to that friend and uh, add in this bicolor LED centralized message center that tells me what's going on in my circuit. So the lower LED represents that we're in sleep mode. And when we're in whatever the mode is that is happening, then the LED is uh, yellow. And when we're not in that mode, then the LED is green. So essentially, if everything's working, then the system's green. Um, so we're in sleep mode right now. And we know that because the LEDs are fading in and out. Let's see? Fade back in. Yep. So we're definitely in sleep mode. So if I take it out of sleep mode, you see that that lower LED turns green. And as the system is counting, you might have seen that, this second level LED uh, flashes with the count. So let's put like a four in here. That's going to be four times three is 12, so we should have 12 pulses. And you can see we get a indicator here showing that we have a count happening. Now the third LED is for programming mode. So if we dial a zero, we'll go into programming mode. And we can see we're in programming mode. First of all, we get the digit blanked. But secondly, we can see that we're in programming mode now. And of course, we can confirm that by the blinking LEDs here. So we can go ahead and put a digit into program into the multiplier, like say a three perhaps. Uh, I still, I think I have a little bit of impedance in some of these wires right here. Sometimes I don't get a, um, a proper count. I, I'm reasonably confident that it's just the impedance of these, all these wires because the circuit is generally working pretty well. So let's try that again. We'll go back into programming mode. Okay, we're in programming mode. Try that three again. There we go. We get a three in the multiplier and you can see we're out of programming mode now. Now that top indicator, the top LED is actually the status of the soft start for the Nixie tube uh, driver. So if I shut the circuit off, when I turn it on, uh, the soft start takes like four seconds to kick in. So what we'll see is that the LED is going to be yellow, indicating that we don't have status yet on the soft start. And then as soon as that relay kicks in, there we go. Now we get an indicator showing that the Nixie um, has proper voltage now because the soft start has um, started. Um, <clears throat> so we started up in programming mode. Sometimes that happens. It just happens like how the stuff is initialized when it starts up. It's, it's all kind of random when it's initialized. We can probably do some extra work on the circuit to initialize into a specific state, but I don't really much care. If it starts in programming mode, it starts in programming mode. No, no biggie because we have to put in a number anyway. So put in a number and we have a green status on everything. So again, if we were to dial a number, let's say four, two times four is eight. We get four pulses on the clock. We get our countdown. Still have our status indicators over here. <clears throat> and then if we give it um, just about a minute here, we'll see, we'll go back into sleep mode and that lower LED will uh, indicate that we're in sleep mode. Oh, it takes uh, just a little over a minute for sleep mode to kick in. There we go. So now we're in sleep mode. Of course, we can tell we're in sleep mode because all the digits are blanked. And we're back to the fade in, fade out on the, um, the status indicators here. You see it'll fade here in a second. There's the fade. And of course, now we have an indicator to show that we're in sleep mode. 
So that's pretty cool. I like the idea of having this uh, central system to notify me what's going on in the overall circuit. And I want to say a big thanks to my pal Jeff for giving me a really cool idea.